Hello, good evening to everyone. Now we are starting our pre presentation on study in Italy. So I kindly request to uh, Ms. Sony, please uh, start the presentation. Welcome to People's Overseas. About People's Overseas. People Overseas is managed professionally, providing solution for aspiring students looking for higher education in abroad and dream to settle in foreign country. We are a team of expert member handling full responsibility of students admission process to post visa services and PR processes. We successfully process admission of 500 plus students in the world ranking universities and colleges covers profile scanning and updates. Fast admission process visa interview preparations, scholarships, financial assistance, post-study work visa assistance, etc. Now, why students should choose people's overseas? Being customer focused, offering excellent quality consultancy services, working with integrity. Now, today's webinar is about study in Italy with 100% scholarship. We'll be describing about the Italy Italy is in South Central Europe and considered part of Western Europe. Its capital, Rome, is home to Vatican City, which is the smallest country in the world. Italy's economy is ranked as the second largest in the Eurozone and eighth largest in the world. Italy is the seventh largest industrialized nation in the world and a leading country in world trade and exports. Italy has 20 regions like Rome, Milan, Venice, Florence, etc. With almost 40 million visitors, Italy is the fourth most visited country in the world. Italy's major industries include tourism, machinery, iron and steel, chemicals, food processing, textiles, motor vehicles, clothing, footwear and ceramics. Mm -hmm. The population of Italy is approximately 6 crores. Italy is a member of European Union and Schengen countries. Now, why a student should choose Italy for studies? World's high ranked public university according to QS World Ranking. Italy gives you 100% scholarship which covers the tuition fees for the entire degree program. No IELTS, TOEFL, GRE, GMAT, SAT is required. Free access to the second best medical healthcare facility in the world. One year post-study Schengen work visa which is the gateway to the 27 European Union countries. Part-time and full-time jobs are available. PR-friendly country. Internships and placement opportunity through Erasmus. In Germany, France, Sweden, Netherlands, etc. Now, comparison between India and Italy. Number of QS World Ranking Universities. In India, it's 8 and in Italy, it's 13. Probably of getting admission in top universities and colleges is low due to the participation of large number of students for limited seats and high cutoff of entrance exam. Here, Italy high because the admission is based on the previous academic records and low number of students participation. Fees for complete course, average cost for undergraduate uh, students, it would be around 10 to 15 lakhs. For postgraduate, it's around 7 to 10 lakhs. Italy gives you 100% scholarship. Expenses for the accommodation, food, and miscellaneous would be 4 to 5 lakhs for undergraduate students, and postgraduate post student would be 2 to 3 lakhs. Italy gives you 100% scholarship. Stipend during your studies in India is very low, it's around 1.5 lakhs per year. In Italy, it's minimum stipend of rupees 9 lakhs for your master course and 13.5 lakhs for your bachelor's. Part-time jobs, low salary of rupees 6,000 to 8,000 in India. And it's very difficult to do part-time jobs as due to the hectic schedule of the universities. Italy, regular studies of 20 hours per week and holidays 40 hours per week. Minimum wages around 10 euros per hour. That comes around 800 euros per month. In INR, it would be around 65,000 to 70,000 per month. Savings during the entire period of studies. In India, it's not at all possible as very less part-time jobs are available and a low salary. 
in Italy around 65,000 per month. So for your bachelor's course, you can save up to uh, 24 lakhs and for your master's around 16 to 17 lakhs. Job opportunities after studies is less as the campus placement is only in top universities and colleges. Approximately 3.5 crores undergraduate and postgraduate students pass out every year. In Italy, it's very high because all universities organize this campus placements. Only 16 lakhs UG and PG students pass out every year. Students can opt for 27 European Union countries for the jobs. Average salary per month for undergraduate and postgraduate degree holders. For India, it's around 18 to 25K. So the return on investment is low. And in Italy, it's around 3 lakhs to 5 lakhs per month. Industrialization, uh, India is yes fastest growing in telecommunication and automobile. But Italy, world's most industrialized nation, world's sixth largest manufacturing country and world's seventh largest industrialized country. Now, medical facilities in India is not good and expensive too. In Italy, free and world's second best medical facility. Quality life of index, it's uh, here in uh, India, it's 74 and in Italy, it's 87. That is 15% more than India. Per capita income is around 86,000. Here, Italy, rupees 26 lakhs. Population, more than 130 crores. Italy, 6 crores only. Literacy, 59.5 of 136 crores of population as the government doesn't invest on the education. Italy, 98.6 of only 6 crores of population because government emphasizes a lot on the education. Free and compulsory education between uh, the students irrespective of their age and nationality. PR, India, not applicable. In Italy, it's very easy. Nowadays, Italian government is promoting their PR for immigrants. Now, universities we deal in. Polytechnic di Milano, popularly known as Polymy. QS World Ranking 123. Employability Ranking is 43. Its location is in Northwest. City is in Milan. Ranked as the number one universities in Italy. University of Bologna, US World Ranking 154, Employability Ranking is 97, City Bologna, established in 1088, first university of the world almost 1000 years old. Sapienza University of Rome, US World Ranking 134, US Employability Ranking 111, located in Central Italy, City is Rome. Western Europe's largest university with 1,50,000 students and ranked 84th in Europe. University of Padua, QS World Ranking 219. Employability Ranking is 161. City is Padua. Nicholas Copernicus, Polish astronomer, is a noted alumni. And Galileo Galilei was one of the faculty at Padua. University of Milan. QS World Ranking 276, Employability Ranking is 201, Notable Fashion Designer Maria Bianche is an alumni. Polytechnic di Taranno, popularly known as Polito, QS World Ranking 252, Employability Ranking is 121. It's located in Taran, it's Italy's oldest technical university. Torvergata University of Rome, QS World Ranking 489. Employability ranking is 301. Located in Rome, University of Torvergata is a very young university established in 1982. Turin, QS World Ranking 364. Employability ranking 251. Location Northwest, City Turin. Year of establishment 1404. Steadily ranked among the top five Italian universities and third for research activities. Now, who can apply in uh, Italian universities? So, 12th completed and pursuing minimum 60%. For master's, minimum 55%. For bachelor's, and if bachelor pursuing, then minimum 55 till last appeared examination for the non-STEM courses. And for the STEM courses, the minimum percentage criteria is 60%. For bachelors, maximum three years of gap will be acceptable and it should be justified. 
for masters it should be 8 to 10 years of gap should be justified for english language certificate a medium of instruction would be required admission will depend on overall profile of the students which includes academics projects internships extracurricular activities strong sop and cv about the courses duration of bachelor's degree courses of 3 years for masters it's 2 years students get the opportunity to pursue paid internship with the course students can shift course or pursue internship to any of the 27 european union Schengen countries through erasmus process under erasmus scholarship the students would get extra stipend from the government of the country and very flexible and easy exam patterns job opportunities part-time jobs 20 hours per week during the regular classes and 40 hours during the holidays Minimum wages is around 7 to 10 euros per hour. It's very easy to get part-time jobs. Full-time jobs, 250 plus MNCs participate each year in the time of campus placements. Uh, internships of, often lead to full-time jobs also. Students can apply for jobs in all 27 Shenzhen countries during the PSW. After staying in Italy for five years, student is eligible for PR as well. Scholarships in Italy, 100% scholarship assurance for the students who have received admit offer letters. Few universities also give you food coupons. Scholarship is on the basis of the financial documents of the student. It does not depend on the academics. Stipend amount in euros per year. Your total earning would be 13,600 euros. That uh, comes in 12 lakhs in INR and approximately 3 lakhs of your expenses. So uh, savings would be around 9 lakhs for your bachelor course uh, would be of 3 years. So 9 threes are 27 lakhs and for masters it would be around 18 lakhs. Average salary after the completion of program is around 3 to 5 lakhs. That comes around 48 lakhs per annum. Our services for students would be career counseling, profile evaluation, course and university selection, admission process, scholarship application, pre-enrollment and the visa process, pre and post departure assistance. This is the actual photographs of the hostel shared by our alumni. Okay, so uh, any questions or queries you can ask me in the chat box. Once you have received the offer letter, then we'll be guiding you out with the apostille and the translation from the Ministry of External Affairs. For service charges, you can directly contact your respected counselors. They'll be giving you all the briefs. Yeah, hi, Dhru. Uh, hello, sir. Ah, yes, Dhru. Welcome to our webinar. Uh, Thank you, sir. Yeah, Somi, uh, Dhru is joining us from Italy. He is a student uh, of master in Marseille University. So he will also share his all the experience about the Italy and all. So, uh, Somi, you, you can ask questions from uh, Dhru as well. Uh, the show amount would be of 17 to 18 lakhs and the expenses would be around 24 lakhs. Dependent visa is not allowed. Hello, Dhru? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, Dhru, can you share your experience in uh, Italy? Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, good evening, guys. Uh, I'm uh, Dhru, uh, basically from Gujarat. And um, I started my procedure with people overseas uh, last year. I I was never met with sir and any of persons at uh, people overseas. And my experience is like um, excellent. At a September and the coming intake would be September 2020. So many, please hold. Uh, actually, Drew is saying something about his experience. Yeah, Drew, please continue. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So my experience is excellent with people overseas uh, because I never uh, came to the uh, never goes to the office physically 
and my all the procedures are on the call and by contact in mail and chats and everything is going very smooth there is a no problem at any so from admission to visa to scholarship Finally. everything is like yeah, is very that smooth that? and um, after coming to italy like the country is very beautiful and the people are nice and the, also the university has been nice with a good infrastructure officers and uh, coming to italy and all this is my like a uh, short introduction and my experience with the people overseas in italy now if any attendees have uh, any doubts and question and they can ask i'll give my honest answer one guy is mr sekh is asking about the scholarship can you brief on this financial income or criteria to get scholarship yeah okay like a scholarship for indian is very easy compared to other countries because uh, uh, the documents from india are um, like they say uh, they look like as uh, authentic documents and uh, for the your question financial income so there is a they have a big criteria for the financial uh, criteria like 10 to 15000 euros annually and uh, when you complete um, all the documents uh, like you have to do hrd uh, so not hrd apostille which is done in uh, embassy of india then after uh, uh, apostille you have to legalize the document from uh, italian consulate so after that um, based on your uh, income and uh, your background uh, score like uh, if you are a coming for bachelor's then your 12th score and if you are coming for master then your uh, degree score they will uh, attend uh, they will uh, give you scholarship uh, and the total value of scholarship is about 9 to 12000 euros which includes uh, your food your accommodation and uh, stipend in a cash so did you get scholarship of 7200 euros yes i got the scholarship and i take all the benefits of the scholarship like two times meals in a day for one year uh, accommodation in hostel and uh, they also paid me a uh, cash in my direct bank account like my first year scholarship is uh, fully funded and i got everything as they uh, mentioned fine dro means uh, or whatever uh, means regarding scholarship and all this is true government is paying right yeah but definitely government is paying to the government is also expecting from you like yeah. you should continue with your study should clear your all the papers then you are des you deserve for the same right yes so, they have a criteria for your credit like in a uh, first semester you have to secure at least 20 credits for first semester and then for first year you have to secure 30 credits compulsory to get your uh, scholarship benefits right and what about there are some uh, people are talking myths like in italy uh, not getting opportunity of work government is not providing scholarship government is only committing this type of myths also coming in the market so can you guide our students through ki what is the truth about this okay uh, first i am going with a scholarship myth like people are saying they are not giving scholarship and all but this is not for indians like for the other countries people like from pakistan and uh, other countries because of uh, their situation and their uh, documents they are not giving them a scholarship but for indian as i made like 32 40s indian student here and everyone gets a scholarship and everyone get uh, full money but yes you have to complete the criteria this is mandatory if you don't complete the criteria then obviously they will not give you a scholarship because this is the requirement and for the job opportunity uh, here in italy there is so many jobs but the requirement is like you have to speak little bit italian so you can connect with local people so restaurants and cafe and uh, any owner they can give you a job if you are uh, 
your you have italian knowledge so you can communicate with local people so it is mandatory if you need a job learn little bit italian so it is good to get a job exams are this is question is like uh, i don't know how to say but yes exams are little bit tough not that much tough like our system but if you are uh, going in a higher university top rank university you have a great competition with other people then obviously you have a tough exam means it's true you have to focus on your study then you yes. need to get all this benefit yeah that's good uh next thing is that uh, about uh, dhruv can you share some bit about uh, italy weather condition and their uh, peoples uh, how they are interacting to each other uh yes um uh, for the weather weather is um, beautiful and uh, soothing you can say and uh, also unpredictable like uh, there is a rain any time there is uh, no prediction we can say and the beauty is like everyone knows like how beautiful italy is from sea to mountains to rivers and uh, ancient cities like rome and milan and bologna so for the beauty it's the great country and for the local people if you speak with italian they are really very nice because uh, old people and like middle aged people only speak italian so they expect that uh, you talk with them in italian then they are very great people right it means through those who are interested for uh, italy study yeah. so they have ample time now they can start practicing on the app as well to learn the language yes to get a good communication and a good relation with people it is a good criteria to learn italian right and there are few question uh, comes in our student mind that whether it is safer or not um yes it safe completely because um, whenever you uh, i travel so many places alone like uh, you don't face anything any problems and if you ask the people they will help you to the fullest so it is uh, good and uh, i didn't see any like big crimes till then or any like um, pickpocketing or uh, anything till that so it is uh, safe yes but uh, every time it's like uh, it is safe but you have to be careful yeah definitely you have to be careful mm. about the things right the completion of the courses what we will yes. run according to that yeah can you describe something on that uh, yes uh, i'll repeat again from the starting yeah. uh, like in uh, european countries uh, there are uh, requirements of working professionals and they are uh, always looking for a working professional so there are uh, lots of vacancies to get a job so better after your completion uh, of your degree you focus on a particular skills not in a broad field and uh, soft skills computer skills so it is a very plus point for the, all the companies because they required special skilled people for the job and uh, like uh, most of uh, courses in my university are designed by the companies uh, who are working in the field like my course is the green industrial engineering which is designed by the companies who are actually working in the energy field and uh, they required a uh, persons for the work so they designed course in the way that uh, they can uh, directly pick the students and give them a job fine it means uh, whatever study program are there mostly is uh, connected with the industrial needs as well uh, yes sir yeah so this is the good thing where they can develop both the things right uh, yes yeah and now the things is that those who are new and those students wants to go there so what they should be keep in their mind Uh, after coming to italy, italy first yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yes there are some requirements after come to italy like you have to apply for the tax code then uh, second thing you have to apply for the resident permit 
uh, these two things are very mandatory because the without a resident permit um, it is a very uh, we can say kind of illegal but uh, still you have a visa so it's okay but it is compulsory to have a resident permit so after coming to italy first you get a like first uh, one italian number then after apply for a resident permit uh, which is called permiso and uh, when you get your visa then you can apply for the tax code from india by mail so these three things uh, you have to keep in mind when you are new and come to italy and other things are like very simple so don't worry about it so dhru anything would like to tell our students that if you are planning to come to italy then um, uh, your decision is very good because nowadays it's like a less students so it is very easy and uh, great opportunity to come to italy and settle compared to other uh, very crowded uh, countries so your decision is good now okay i hope uh, all the students got in their queries from dhru and uh, they now can think over it about the italy and still they have any queries in their mind they can uh, send us message or email so we will answer all those questions uh dhru thank you for coming on this webinar and giving your reviews to our students thanks a lot it's a pleasure sir yeah <laughs> Uh, once again, uh, I would like to thanks to everyone who joined this webinar. Uh, even any query remaining, please contact us. We will let you know. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, Guru. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, bye bye.